2022 U.S. Nationals Pairs and Ice Dance Recap. After the short program, it looked like pairs and ice dance would bring some drama. However, at the end, everything turned out pretty predictable. Starting off with pairs, the Olympic team is Ashley Kane Gribble, Timothy LaDuke, Alexa Canaram, Brendan Fraser, which came as no surprise to anyone. However, for one brief moment, I thought maybe things would be different. Before the short program, Alexa and Brendan had to pull out because Brandon tested positive for COVID. Even with them withdrawing, I was pretty sure that they would be named to the team. I mean, after all, Brendan got COVID because the Federation decided to call all of its athletes into a COVID hotbed. However, the Federation got help from the other teams who did not perform, which made it easier to send Alexa and Brendan. The winner of the pairs event without a question was Ashley Kane Gribble and Timothy LaDuke. They had two of their best performances this season. Ashley and Timothy came into the short program ready to fight. Without a single wrong move, they had their best short program to date. They then followed this up with their best long program to date. They are unquestionable, unquestionably the national champion. With those two performances, I have to wonder would things have turned differently or turn out the same even if Alexa and Brendan had competed? Well, we will never know. However, from where Ashley and Tim started this season with Ashley barely being able to breathe after a performance to them winning national, that was truly amazing. It was a well-deserved national title and Olympic berth for Ashley and Timothy. Our silver medalist was Jessica Callahan and Brian Johnson. Again, with their best short program this season, I really thought that Jessica and Brian would deliver in both programs. Unfortunately, once again, Jessica and Brian fell short. Their long program was in a hot mess, but it also wasn't the performance of a lifetime. Had Jessica and Brian won nationals, or had they had the long program of their career, the Federation would have had a problem on their hands with naming the team. However, with their subpar performance, Jessica and Brian made it easy for the Federation to leave them off the team. Rounding off the podium was uh, Audrey Liu and Misha Metrofanov. The possible dark horse, but unfortunately, I think the pressure of the Nationals got to them. This was less than the ideal performance that they needed. The short was okay, however, the long program was one of their worst this season. With these two performances, making the Olympic team was out of the question. The U.S. Pairs Olympic team, again, was no surprise to anyone. It was great seeing Ashley and Timothy have their moment, and the teams are performing relatively clean. However, at the end of the day, we all knew how it would turn out. The pick for the Federation, in my opinion, made sense, and I have no complaint with those two teams going. Next was the ice dance, which also played out pretty much as predicted. The teams going to the Olympic and the podium medalists are the gold medal and national title for Madison Chalk and Evan Bates, the silver for Madison Hubble and Zachary Donahue, and the bronze for Caitlin Hawaiik and John Luke Baker. For ice dance, listen, it was pretty predictable. However, I am happy that not only did I name the team, but I also predicted the podium perfectly. Madison Chalk and Evan Bates came to win national. My girl Madison ate up the ice. She came for her title and she was not leaving without it. I'm so happy they are going into the Olympic on a high. In my mind, this is based on personal preference. When it comes to the Olympic, I would give Madison and Evan the silver right after Gabby and Guillaume, whom I would give the gold. 
Hubble and Donahue won the silver, and I can't help but think this was such a waste of an opportunity for them. Without a doubt, in terms of skating skill, ice coverage, speed, Hubble and Donahue are the better team. However, their material, not only this season, but maybe for the past two and a half seasons, have been a miss. Honestly, if they had better materials this season, it would not have been much of a question. Unfortunately, I just don't think either their rhythm dance or their free dance is Olympic worthy. However, based on their skills and talent, I completely agree with them getting the silver. The only question to the Olympic team was Caitlin Hawaiik and Jean-Luc Baker, who had a very shaky rhythm dance, which left them in fourth place. Honestly, after the rhythm dance, I was very fearful for them, thinking they might not make it. However, they came back fighting in the free dance and solidified their placement on the team. Their free dance was just beautiful. This was the team that this was how I imagined the Olympic team, and I'm glad that's how it turned out. I have to say that ice dance in the U.S. looks really, really good. In fourth place, we had Caroline Green and Michael Parson. I cannot mention how much I really like this young team. They were third after the rhythm dance, and they are really showing that they are ready to make that transition and to the seniors. And I really think the next four years will be quite, you know, the potential to grow for them. We also had young teams like um, Christina Carrera, Anthony Palomenko, Emily Bratti, Ian Somerville, and Catherine Wolfskin and Jeffrey Chen all making the top 10. As a discipline, I think ice dance is thriving in the U.S., and I cannot wait to see how these teams perform in the next four years leading up to the 2026 Olympics. Both of these disciplines, I feel, pretty much played to what everybody was expecting. So I don't think anyone is particularly upset about the way it turns out. But you guys let me know, between the two Madisons, which one would you have given the national title to? Leave me a comment.